Hello people, welcome back to my channel. Uh, hope you are enjoying the NLP series. And so in today's video, uh, what we'll be seeing is about uh, word tokenization, which is there in NLP. Uh, actually, we have uh, gone very far uh, in NLP. That is, we did uh, text summarization and all those stuffs. Uh, but then uh, I thought of like to uh, give you a brief idea of uh, what the word tokenization is. And for that, especially, I have uh, made a small presentation from my side so that you will get to know about the basics of the word tokenization, why it is important to do in NLP. Okay, so let's get started. So this is my presentation. Uh, I'm doing the presentation for the first time. Usually we have a uh, to like teach on the board and uh, we have stuff like that but uh, just to for a change i just considered to migrate it to presentation okay so hope uh, you enjoy this video okay so uh, word organization uh, is mainly uh, i have considered into two parts because uh, there are different techniques by which you can do word organization but uh, this will be a part one uh, video on word tokenization there will be uh, one more part following this that is the second part uh, that will be based on different methods for word tokenization okay so let's move ahead so word tokenization is uh, nothing but it is a process of splitting a string or text or anything uh, that is into a list of tokens as you can see from this thing that is this are nothing but stack of coins so each of these coins can be considered as a token. So uh, it can be thought of like token as part of like a word which is a token in a sentence and sentence is a token in a paragraph. So you will have uh, basically just in a common uh, language in a layman language uh, token. The basic atomic token is nothing but the alphabet. So from alphabet you first of all when you learn any particular language you start with the baby steps right so you uh, start to learn each of the alphabets a b c capital letters small letters where to use which letters okay so those are nothing but individual tokens that is alphabetical tokens now from this alphabetical tokens you basically construct words out of that okay so that is another token means it's a superset so from that word then you uh, create some meaningful uh, sentences so by using grammars then by using some adjectives some verbs some nouns etc okay then you convert all of the sentences into one particular paragraph okay so that it makes some sense or by that how you do summarization so that is the similar thing so these all things are nothing new nothing fancy going around but just the simpler things which you have learned from your uh, school times okay so just with technology how you would integrate with these things or in data science or by using nlp how would you relate with these things so it's all about that okay so let's move ahead why is it important or what is the importance of uh, having tokenization so before uh, processing any natural language we need to identify that words that constitute a string of characters okay so whenever you read some particular document you need to understand what are the uh, key features or key keywords which are there present inside that document so that you get a gist of the entire paragraph okay so that is the main idea of having tokenization also whenever you are asked to make a summary or whenever you are asked to write based upon that you will get to know an idea of which words to actually consider so it usually happens like whenever you sit for any exams uh, usually they ask like to write only few bullet points which covers the important features by keeping only key features or key pointers in mind so they look for specific keywords into consideration that is nothing but your tokens okay so it is important because the semantics of the text could be easily interpreted by analyzing the words present in the text also in english language literature what happens is like for a big sentence or uh, maybe uh, consider collection of tokens contribute to a particular word okay then uh, in order to summarize that word you can put into one particular uh, 
new word so usually uh, when you give some exams like ilts or gmat or gre exams usually you have to learn some new words that is nouns so usually when you just uh, google or when you uh, read about what the actual meaning is usually that is part of one long sentence okay so tokenization helps in reducing the amount of data that you want to present okay so let's move forward what are the different methods to perform tokenization in nlp so there are six different ways by which you can do uh, the first one is by using the split method so split method is python's built in function then you can write by using regular expression regex so regex are especially uh, used when you have some html forms and from this html forms where you need to get data of a particular customer or from a user uh, for example uh, email address or whenever you are doing sentimental analysis in that place email address doesn't play any role neither his phone number so in that place where you want to write a generic uh, filter in order to remove these things you basically use regular expressions uh, we'll see regular expressions down the line whenever we do sentimental analysis so in that part usually regex comes into picture then uh, what we'll be using in today's uh, session or coding uh, overviews by using the nltk library so nltk has a very wide set of word tokenizers uh, present inside that uh, which can be used in order to perform the word tokenization then uh, by using the spacy library which we have already discussed for text summarization then uh, by using the tensorflow keras also we can do this word tokenization so that part will be our second part in the first part we'll be seeing about what is nltk and then we have something called as gensim that is generate similarity so by that also we can do uh, this uh, word tokenization okay so let's move forward so what are the types of tokenizations so uh, there are three types of tokenizations uh, now this three types of tokenizations are in with respect whenever you deal with uh, nltk so these three things are for uh, nltk uh, for tensorflow keras there is a different way that how we write these things so uh, there are three types that is bigrams so bigrams are nothing but tokens of two consecutive words bi means just only two uh, then you have trigrams tokens of three consecutive words then you have ngrams tokens of any consecutive words that is defined by the user like how uh, big token he actually needs it okay so having talked about a quick overview of what the tokenization with all these presentations uh, let's now uh, move on uh, to actual coding so that presentation was done from canva okay so uh, this is uh, the actual tokenization thing how, uh, how we actually do it so uh, as i said we'll be using the nltk uh, toolkit for doing this so from nltk uh, we have something called as nltk tokenize and in tokenize we have called as word tokenize okay so this is the uh, major uh, center of attraction actually in word tokenize which will do all the magic all the conversions you need not worry about how it will do it a uh, word tokenize will actually do the job for you okay so it's actually a method which is present inside the nltk you need to download first nltk that is nltk dot download from the conda shell or you can uh, do this from uh, this spider id also uh, so i'll basically take a quote that is uh, big dreams have small beginnings as it is rightly said so i want to do the tokenization so tokenization by just looking at this particular code you'll get to know it consists of only uh, five different uh, tokens so i'll just uh, print that thing so before that i'll just comment this things out uh, which we'll discuss further okay so what ideally it should do is uh, the code should be uh, sent to uh, word tokenize 
so it will split it into tokens and the resultant will be stored into a list okay so that is the easiest by far the most flexible data structure that we can use with any type of nlp applications and then also it will print the length of it so let's move and see what it looks like so as i rightly said it will split into tokens it is as simple as that so uh, next uh, from the presentation we saw like uh, there are three types of tokenization in this uh, that is by using the nltk you can make use of the bigrams which takes only two consecutive words trigrams three consecutive words and ngrams uh, for which you want to decide like how many tokens you want to actually tokenize Okay, so for that I will consider another string, uh, sit alone, you will find all your answers. So uh, that is my string, so I again make tokens out of that. So in order to make tokens, you have to call the method uh, word tokenize or you have to pass that particular string or code or anything like that into word tokenize. So it will create tokens for you and uh, for bigrams means uh, that will be a tuple of just two tokens so uh, it will be inside a list but inside that you will have basically tuples combination of only two words whether it's of punctuations or words anything so that is done with the help of nltk.bigrams and in bigrams you pass this tokens you store this into a variable string bigrams it is as simple as that i'll just print this out uh, okay, so as you can see, uh, bigrams sit alone, then uh, alone and this particular comma, okay, then that comma and you, then you and will, will and find, find and all, all your, yours and answers, okay, and answers and that full stuff will also come into picture. So there is a continuity among the words, it's not like you, uh, partition this or you don't have discontinuity but uh, this can be considered like how you do discretization where you keep continuity uh, in particular uh, string or when you have numeric column in some uh, machine learning algorithms in data set you basically do the discretization okay so that is value ranges 0 to 100 then from 101 to 150 150 to 200 then 200 to above like that you have continuity so that's why it's basically repeating in the next consecutive uh, bigram then uh, what you have is something called as trigram uh, that is simple so instead of just only two tokens it will have three tokens in place so i'll just run this also so you can see trigrams uh, sit alone and question mark uh, sit alone and comma then alone uh, comma u comma you and will you will find like this and finally uh, i have this n gram so in n grams what the different thing or the parameter that you want to pass is the number of tokens that is the value of n so now it will be a five grams so each of the tuple will contain five of the tokens okay so it is as simple as that so as you can see one two three four five in the next tuple it will be like that so it will be a list of tuples that is basically all about the tokenization is about okay so in the next part what we'll see is we'll see a, a tensorflow keras counterpart of how this thing can be done in that so it's good to know both of the ways because sometimes you want to use with this or whenever you work with lstms and some long-term dependencies time series data and all then uh, there also this comes into handy so that's why i'll show a implementation in tensorflow keras that will be our next video so hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you found this video informative, educative and if this video helped you in some way or the other, please do like, share, comment and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching this video.